Rocket Grab, Steadfast Presence, and Righteous Range. So it's a reroll game. 1-1-1 one, one, one of those. I do have three ashes, so if I can find her um, hero augment, I might actually play that. There you go. Laser Focus. Gain an ash, she gains 50% attack speed doubled while her ability is active. I think that is her combat augment. So I'm going to take that. Oh, someone... Rocket grab. Thank you. Thank you guys for highlighting that. Um, so what, we'll gonna, what we're going to do here is play an ash reroll. Like uh, the old times. You remember that one, right? Um, so how is that played? Well, it's a super scomp um, with uh, laser core. So it's Yasu, Renekton, Balfight, Lee Sin, and Gank Plank. And you go for the Ash um, items, basically, which are Infinity Edge, Ginsu, and Blast Whisper. You have those items, that's your best bet at winning. And then you kind of want a Ionic Spark on your Renekton. Um, Yasuo can be the secondary carry, uh, Renekton being the main tank. That's pretty much it. Nothing super uh, out of the ordinary. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it used to be a good thing. Um, it's not that good anymore, unfortunately. Gonna sell, buy, just to keep it. Uh, keep at 10 here. Gonna play the two brawlers, I think. Gonna play the two brawlers. Um, okay, so, and also Redemption is a pretty good item. So, Redemption, Ionic Spark, War Mugs, all of those are pretty good for Renekton. Um... We can actually even slam that right now. No reason to hold on to it. Not really. Uh, get paid. Okay. This guy is a tempo comp. Get paid. You may have seen my video on get paid. If you haven't, go check it out. Um, usually you want to tempo with it, but obviously you can't always do that. And if you can't, um, you just lose streak through stage 2 and then stabilize in stage 3. And start playing for the get paid. Okay. Um, now, I don't recommend playing Ash reroll, really, because it's not. Like, it's one of the weakest of the reroll comps, in my opinion. But it's okay. You know, especially if you can find combat training on stage three. That can be pretty good. Okay, we have laser core in, which is not bad. And it's a level 5 reroll comp, by the way. So you want... Because you want Ash 3 for sure. As soon as you have Ash 3, you can go level 6 and then roll for the rest of the units. But ideally, you also get a Renekton 3. I should give this to her, by the way. There's no reason not to. Edgelord? It is Edgelord, yeah. So this guy's also rerolling. And Laser Core is still pretty strong, don't forget that. So you can actually win streak with this comp quite well, if you, especially if you find a Laser Core very early on. So there is that. I mean, we have a loss win-win so far, right? The first loss was not optimal, but well, it is what it is. We're looking for a bow here, ideally. If, if not bow, then sword. But I'm third pick, unfortunately, so... There are two bows, though. Maybe I can get one? Oh, so, it sure looks like it. I was gonna take the two costs, because I, I don't want to risk being, you know... That, that was a three cost, but I, I was I was a little bit afraid that someone would take it, and then the other person would change their mind and go for the other bow. I, I didn't want to risk it. Um... It's on a Yasuo, but I'm gonna have to sell. So no leveling here, right? We just take it slow. Right, again, items Ginsu, Last Whisper, and um, Infinity Edge. That's your best bet with this comp. Uh, Ashes damage doesn't really scale uh, scale off of AP. Like it's just, you know, it, it's non-existent pretty much. It's eighteen percent. That's nothing. Um, but you don't really want AP on her. AP items. 
But she does deal magic damage through the drones. So. Okay. Need to keep my eyes peeled for a Malphite as well. Although I need Malphite on level 6, but I kind of want to start collecting Malphites as soon as I can. Not going to pick up the Senna, even though she's laser core. Obviously, the like she's not going to be fitting into the team. So what you can do is, level 6, you have your comp, right? Which is all 3 starred ideally, units with supers and then the 3 laser core in. And then you can start... Uh, Deciding on where you want to go next. You can do recons, three recons, or you can do five laser core on level eight, or you can even go, you know, ages uh, if you need that extra bit of resistance. But it's always good to keep those options in mind. I really need a Renekton too, though, because he's my main tank, and uh, a Renekton one here is just not very good. And again, the only reason I'm playing this reroll comp right now is because I already had three ashes um, when the when the augment selection came up. So it didn't, you know, like it made sense in that that context. But I, generally, I would not hunt for this augment. It's not, it's not good enough. Like it's maybe a top four potential. That's pretty much it. You know, like you're playing for a potential top four, but it's more like top three to six realistically unless you get super lucky okay there's an ionic spark angle and we have a ginsu angle titans i'm not gonna play i would much rather play ionic spark and bramble than ginsu here we can greet the items a little bit because it's a reroll comp right so you generally don't mind it too much I mean, we are win streaking so far, so it would be nice to keep the win streak, but I'm not gonna, not gonna grief myself over that. I'm gonna roll here a little bit, um, just for a few. Because I'm level four, and this is my best chance of hitting a Renekton or Ash or something, right? Okay, I roll down to 35. I'm not gonna roll further. Unfortunate that we didn't find the extra one Necton here, but it is what it is. So I'm going to give her that. I'm going to give him this. Just to have the... Oh, shit. I did... And I didn't move my Lee Sin back into the corner after the fight on the Krugs. And that's going to cost me this fight, for sure. I... Ah, that was so stupid, man. Uh, that that tilts me though a little bit because I could have easily won this fight easily, and I even had it in my mind. I was like moving my Lee Sin, and I need to move him back. But then I started rolling, and then I I forgot. Okay, it's all right, and it's okay. Tiny Titans, Knife Edge, Featherweights one. I mean, it's just the Featherweights here for sure. That is Renek Tony two. And now we can play maybe this guy for the duelist. And so we then we start slow rolling for Ash. Remember, we only need to find um, four more Ashes. Is that correct? I have one, two. I need four more. Yeah, that is correct. Matt. Um, and then just really hoping that we hit good items uh, on Wolves. Again, I need two rods, I need a sword, and I need a crit love. Kinda, you know, tough to get all of those components, but it, it's okay. Remember the times when uh, Redemption was not nerfed yet? I remember. Alright, we are losing out on so much gold because of that one loss though. 
I would be at 50 now. Basically. Okay, very good. Maybe we're not gonna get the three star Renekton because we are so far off. Three more ashes to go though. Um we're middle of the pack again. Not gonna get any better than that. So we're third pick. Um we're looking for Rod. First and foremost, Rod. Secondary item pick here would be a, a chain vest. Maybe gloves, but chain vest is better. So it's like rod, chain vest, gloves. That's what we're looking for. And the reason that gloves is the the third option there is because we will need an infinity edge, but we don't have the components for that yet. So ideally, I want you know either the bramble vest first because I have a chain vest, or I want a Ginsu or Ionic Spark. Ginsu would be more important, I think, than Ionic Spark, honestly. Ionic Spark benefits the drone damage, which is at the moment, you know, 900. Boosted by like 20-25%. Ash is just dealing too much compared to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, taking the spat off, that is correct. Okay. No one has taken the rod yet, so I can take it. Cool. We got the Ginsu's. Ginsu's is really nice here. Moving the units that I want onto the other side of the bench. Just to have my thoughts sorted there correctly. Okay, that's a GP2, man. Can I find an Ash, please? If I find a Yasu or a Lee Sin, I'll have to pick up this Ash, huh? Just to make more bench space. Oh, this is a core focus guy. Okay, going recon. Can see that. Level 7 with the Mordekaiser, huh? Just what you want to see. And the Belvet. Like, it's, um, you know, Christmas came early for that guy. Recon heart and everything as well. It's okay. Not that I'm mad. I'm not mad. You're mad. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay. Um. Nope. Another GP. There's a Renekton. Who am I giving up on for the Renekton? I'll fight. Okay, there's a Yasu or two. Giving up on Malphite for now because we can't use him until level 6 anyway, and Renekton is just more important. Uh, we already have one extra lease in there, or like multiple extra leases there, so chances of hitting him three star is much more than hitting the Malphite. Ooh, that's a Ramus too, boys. People are getting pretty strong. Our early dominance is becoming a little bit less dominant, but we're still still okay, it seems. You know? You know? Okay. Hoping to get some really good items at Wolves here. Okay, but, like, really? That was five rolls, man. Ten gold. No Ash. No Ash, no Renekton, nothing. No, not great. Not so great. Need to move them back. Let's not forget about that one. I can't even make bench space here when I pick up these globes. Didn't get a single item? You for real? I'm not gonna pick those up just yet. Hmm... 
Not rolling yet. I'm gonna wait for the, the thing. I'm gonna wait for the thing. It does either roll one cost and two cost units too. I need to make some bench space somehow. I need to find units. Okay, this is a laser core guy now. All of the sudden. Bit of fiddlesticks, huh? Jesus. Getting my ass handed to me quite a bit here, man. Level 7. I didn't find a single item, though. That's not... That's not very good, man. Not gonna lie. That is really not that good. Combat augment something? Huh. Binary airdrop sounds pretty nice, honestly, here. Because we are very much lacking item components at the moment. I'll take it. Uh, Ash? Renektoni? I'm down to rolling down now. Okay, cool. And uh, we do have that thing. So I'm going to just sell. I'm going to do this. Uh, now we level, we play, and we pick up those globes, finally. Just gold, no units. Alright, well, this is what it is. And then we get a tier, and we get a... That's it, it's just, just the tier from the thing, right? I'm very happy about this one. Okay, looking for another rod on Carousel, I think. We can also look for maximizing the value from the binary airdrop. Okay, keep slow lowering, uh, slow rolling here. So the way we would look at doing that is leaving the cloak on there and then giving that protector's vow to someone. Uh, I mean, protector's vow really—it's just not a very good item here. Um, well, that's a good item from the airdrop. Those are two very good items from the airdrop. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty good here, just because we didn't find any items on wolves, right? So we are down quite a few components, in all honesty. Because um, we have, what, four, six, seven, seven item components plus two, nine by the end of wolves. And you can have, like, 12, I think. Um, it's, it's probably a rod, maybe the bramble is also fine. Rod would be better here now. Just to make sure that we still get the maximum value. Um, okay. So, this way, Renekton is going to have three items now all the time, with two, with all of them completed. Ash, for now, is the same. Um, and then we can look for, like, we'll still want to have that Infinity Edge on Ash at the end of the day, if we can find it. But if not, you're, you know, we're kind of fine with whatever random item we get. Um, and then we can we can start building out another unit. And and what unit that will be is depends on who we can three star first, I think. So maybe it's just a GP. Maybe it's someone else. Oh God, that's not. That's not fun. Uh, I have to give up on you. I mean, damn it. Um. I think I'm giving up on that. Okay, it's a Renekton 3. Titans is also a really good item on that Renekton. Gunblade is a nice item for... Oh my god, we got one shot. Renegade. Okay, 
That's fine. This is all fine. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go Yasuo 3. It's probably just Lee Sin 3 and um, GP3. There's GP. Do I keep rolling for that Lee Sin? It's just the Lee Sin though. But I think it's fine. Um, so who gets the third you know, items? Or like an extra item plus a component probably on that. And then get the binary. Does binary airdrop actually guarantee that you get a, a random item component for your class? Or is it completely random? Does anyone know? Um, I got busted quite a bit there, man. I would have expected us to deal way more damage now. At this point, you know, I kill more units here. That just doesn't seem right. Um, Because we are pretty much at our cap at the moment. Lee Sin 3 would give us an extra 3% damage. 3% damage is not that much, but it also gives us the extra health and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm down to rerolling further, I think. Okay. Now we are actually looking for Malphite as well. That's a bow, the belt, and the random other item. No sword, no gloves though, so. Just gonna take this, I think. Okay. Um. So let's get cooking, huh? Let me get that Malphi three. I think so. Okay, we'll get a, a binary airdrop on that Malphi as well now. Oh no, we actually lost to that. I really thought we would win that. Interesting. How did we lose that so hard? We even zeppered the Kaisa and everything. Yeah, laser core damage is now capping out quite a bit. Okay, those are not bad rolls at all. Uh, so now we go 7. Uh, we don't look for Yasuo 3 just yet. On level 7 we can play 2 mascot, which I think would be pretty good here. I think we need the Infinity Edge, don't we, on that Ash? Like, I mean, I don't, don't have any of the... Maybe we can find one on the Carousel. Yeah, it's a shroud, so it's it's completely random what we get here, which is a little bit unlucky. Man, I have Hedervates and everything, and I'm still just not not very strong. Yeah, I don't think this comp really works anymore. I'm not gonna lie. It's just um, you know. Okay. No, I, I, I'm not gonna get baited by this thing. I'm just gonna level here. Play another one of these guys for now. Also go the mascot route. Is that better? I don't know. Let's see. Zephyr again. 
<laughs> Yona just taking out the Malphite. Nice. I'm glad that we won that one. We really need to start winning. We are first pick on Carousel. Maybe we get the, the, the thing. No crit. I mean, that Death Blade is also pretty good. Is it though? No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get extra items on another carry here. Or another tank, or another three star. What am I saying? So at least he's gonna get the warmogs and the bow, so he gets the value from binary airdrop. I'm gonna swap Lee Sin and this guy, I think. Or maybe just Nasus for now. Um right. So this way again leasing gets the value of the binary airdrop which is great i think the mascot is actually helping a bit uh it's not that much like it's 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 actually not much at all huh so maybe it's just the zack over the masses here for more frontline Okay, what do we get? Infinity Edge, nice. Yeah, this is where the value of Binary Airdrop really shines, by the way. When you get multiple of those units, you know, having two items, and then all of them just get so much extra value from the extra items. Like, each completed item, I think, is, is worth 12 gold, if I remember correctly, or something like that. Um, just keep that in mind. There is a clip of Morda going over the value of each item, like type of item, you know, component, completed item, worn item, radiant item. Um, I think maybe five laser core is actually not bad here. I think. Maybe. I mean, the most ideal situation would be just legendary units, right? From this point on. Level 8, playing uh, Fiddlesticks, Urgot, and other stuff like that. Oh, no. That's a hacker, Belva. Right on my ash. Doesn't matter. It didn't hacker the Zed for some reason. If he did, this would have been an entirely different fight. Oh, look at us go, man. We're actually not doing that bad. I thought we were doing worse than this. But apparently, we're doing fine. So maybe this is going to be a YouTube video. In which case, consider subscribing, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just going to level on... 6 1 here, I think. And either look for 5 laser core or something else. Sounds good to me. This this thing is bothering me so much. Some dude left it here with the get paid augment. And when we roll down to level 8, we might find even a Yasuo here. Oh, it's a Zephyr. I think it's a Zephyr. Let's, let's try this, maybe. Uh, or even this, man. What am I doing? Um, just rolling for those units. That I found. We're gonna Zephyr the Samira. Okay. 
I mean, we're doing pretty well into this comp, surprisingly well in my opinion. Full legendary board practically, with two sure shots. We still lose. Yeah, we almost died. Can we top four, guys? Do you, do you die here? Not quite. Yeah, that's very close. Okay, I really need to find my units here. God. I'm just gonna have to give up on Yasuo 3, man. Mana. I, I mean, I guess... Who am I up against? This guy? I mean, this guy just beats the shit out. Ah, no, I can't win against either one of these. No way. No way. Um, that's a Ramus 3, Kai'Sa 3, Vayne 3, man. That's just too strong. Or Econ and everything. Um, but maybe we will we'll lose by a smaller margin than the rest of the lobby loses. Wait, what? Am I actually winning? Holy shit! We're going crazy, boys! This is definitely a YouTube video now. Cool. And that is cool. Okay. Now, that dude is uh, scary. Really, really scary. Um... I think I want to do this. Do I? I don't know. I, I just, the thing is, I want the Zephyr the Phileos, which I do. The, I mean, look at this. Two Urga, two Janna, two Fiddle, two. Like, this is a full legendary board, level 9. When am I ever gonna beat this one with my crappy Ash reroll comp, huh? You know, it's just not really something that you, you would usually see. And it makes perfect sense because. I mean, you shouldn't be able to beat this board at this point. But that's good. I mean, it's a fourth. It's a fourth. I think that's pretty much the best you can wish for with the Ash reroll comp. But it's a fun comp, and, you know, we, we got it, we took it. Um, again, not something you would chase generally, but you can take it if you get it, uh, like like I did. Three Ashes in the beginning, you know, Ash, uh, Ash Hero Augment and all that. Uh, but that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment for the algorithm, and consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.